All right, good morning, everyone. Today we're going to play some Death Shadow. Um, I think this is what I'm going to end up playing at SCG Baltimore, but there's a chance I play Standard. But if I do, I'm obviously I'm going to play Death Shadow. So today's list, um, I'm trying out the Jays. Uh, Brandon and Ben Joe has been pretty high on the Jays, so we're going to give this a shot. Um, I decided to, for just new cards here, I decided to add an Engineered Explosives because Humans has been getting a little more of an uptick. And they're playing between two and four Oriok champions after uh, sideboard, which is a beating. So I just wanted one more of these. And um, I also have been really liking two of the Veil. It's a very narrow card. Like these cards, like I really like these 12 cards in the sideboard. These three cards are narrow, but I think they're very good when they need to be good. So I, I want, so I, I'm okay with not bringing these cards in too, too much. So that's kind of the list. It's pretty self-explanatory, so let's play some Magic. So let's go Competitive Modern. Veil Shadow. This is my first time playing Shadow in a little bit. In a couple weeks. It's like, it's kind of, you know, weird that my my testing will be skewed because there's likely going to be a bit of a ban, I think. There's going to be a ban on Monday. So I can't go, can't go too, uh, I'm not going to go too far into it, but, you know, nuts about the lists and stuff, the specifics. Yeah, humans is I think humans is starting to get better positioned because I think that it's I think it's better against um whatever it is. It's better against the Phoenix decks and spirits are because you know, meddling mage is good, freebooters is nice. Um so I think it's better there. But um and if KCI gets banned, I think it'll certainly be better. <clears throat> and also there's less there's less spirits and spirits just dunks on humans. Spirits is just the bigger the bigger creature deck. And if you're the bigger creature deck, you'll have a bit of an advantage. I'm a little sick, so if I'm I have the sniffles, then don't. But I'm sorry. Okay, um we're gonna keep this. <clears throat> we're just gonna go tar and go. Um we don't know exactly what we're looking for here, so we don't really want to go Serum Visions on one. Burn, baby, burn, burn. Alright, I think I'm going to fetch an island. I think we're on the slow plan, because we don't really have a lot of interaction. So I'm not really looking to rush into a Death Shadow here. Alright, Stub is nice. Okay. I think I'm going to leave this Wraith on top and give myself the option to fetch for it because I think we do have to get the Shadow in play now that we hit a Stubborn Denial and we don't have a lot of resources. So Alright, now I'm going to go fetch a red source tap because they didn't do very much more damage to us. So let's go here. I can snap push this. I'm going to upkeep me. <clears throat> How's it going, MTG Forest? Okay, so we're going to go Snap Push. 
get onto the battlefield. It appears my opponent knows what's going on here. <coughs> I think I'm going to take another shot from this Swift Spear. Because I don't want to get hit with an Eidolon. They're full suspended, okay? And the question is, am I pushing? Oh, what do we got here? Okay. So I go to 11. Yeah, there's no need to here because I can just go fetch. Snap, push this. And I can get my Death Shadow to a 4. I can get two Death Shadows to a 4, so that's the plan. And we got stub back up as well. So we should be pretty solid right now. It's going good. I'm a little under the weather, so I might be a little like, you know, sound a little snotty for this, but we're gonna let that go. Okay, so what do we have? We've got 14. It's going to be a little close here because bolt me. Okay. You got another bolt? You got a lightning bolt? No. Okay. What do we have coming? We had a done a land. <clears throat> okay, so it gets burned. Get rid of these. That's how we do it. I think on the BNR, I think that uh, I think KCI will go, or some aspect of KCI. KCI is too good. KCI is like how you doing this morning, Brandon? Sand deals with so much damage and we don't have a shadow. My opponent mulligan, I'm going to mulligan. Oh, shit. I actually have not played with the Jace yet. It's the first time I've played with the Jace. I like Veil. It's pretty narrow. Like, you're not going to bring it in a lot of spots. But, um, you know, it kind of does what I want it to do. I should have kept that on top, I think. I'm excited to try the Jace, though. Well, so I wanted to try the EE um, because I saw humans. I looked over the humans decks. I think humans is pretty well positioned, and I see that all those decks are packing, like, between two and four, um, whatever they are after sideboard. Those Oriok champions. So I have, like, I have three very narrow cards in my sideboard, which I think I'm okay with. We have a battle rage here, so I think we're just gonna go pedal to the metal. I think we're just gonna get watery grave. We're gonna look for a way to deal with uh, Eidolon, and both of these let us deal with Eidolon. I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna stack the Thoughtseize on top, but would give us the option where we might not. Well, I guess if I get Eidolon this turn, I'm gonna want that the other way. Yeah. So let's take a look here. Figure out if we need this lightning bolt or not. Oh my god, they have exquisite firecraft. Gross. Alright, whatever. We're going I think we're going pedal of the metal here. Okay, so we go to eight. 
attack, they put us to five. They have to draw a land, though. So they have to draw a land to turn their hand on. So I actually think we're good here. Not gonna lie, I have not done this math out 100%, but... Because if they miss a draw step, and even if they draw a land, where they only have seven points of burn. <coughs> well, that's not bad. Hopefully we don't get Deflecting Palmed. You know, if we get Deflecting Palmed, no, we still don't kill them. I doubt I'll crack this. I could have played this tapped, but I kind of want to just be able to control my next total a little bit. <coughs> yeah, the, the EE is bad, but it's just that Oriok Champion is just such a beating. So we can actually go... Okay, so our opponent's... I think on a no-outer... I like playing games slower against humans in regards to make my shadows big, but when they back lower, I don't get Yeah. The control plan is much worse. Um, so we got two out of three. If they have a path, we're going to get browned here, I think. All right, we're going to play our fetch land. And it, we're, we're going to go for it here. We're just going to figure out the right way to do it. And it's gonna we're gonna battle rage the shadow that's not blocked. Because I want to get this thing off the table here. So if I battle rage the shadow that is blocked, they path it. Well, so if I battle rage the shadow that is blocked, I don't have to take any damage here. To kill them because this is eight plus three. No, I do have to. I can fetch uh, basics. Bring them down to six. Attack land kills me. I'm gonna fetch two basics. Because <clears throat> then they hit a land. If they have path, then they top deck a land. They kill me with what I'm doing here. I think, I think there's a right way to do this. And if I hit this, I deal with this. But then I'm on a much slower clock to kill them. It's like, if I Battle Rage here, then I make this trade basically with my Battle Rage and Shadow and Path. If I Battle Rage here, take two damage, then they Path here, this deals them seven, they're at eight, and then it's lethal next turn, because I can shock my way in. <coughs> I think I'm going to TBR the Shadow they blocked. <coughs> well, they're not dead, right, Brandon? I'm just trying to think about it. Like, I'm pretty sure my opponent's dead. But, like, you know. I'm fairly certain my opponent's dead, but I just want to, like, give myself the best chance here. And I think I can actually fetch once, because this is 6, 10, 16. Yeah, I can actually just fetch once. Yeah, they had the path. <clears throat> so then I should have battle rage this one. Okay. All right, so that's good. So I should have battle rage the other one. We're knocking the cobwebs a little bit because if I battle rage the other one, at least these trade. So how much damage do I want to do? Five. They have that in hand. Yeah, we probably just play it slow. <clears throat> <coughs> Alright, so they hit a land. So I'm in trouble. As in I'm dead over two turns now. Yeah, we lost this game because of that, which is annoying. 
Yep. I guess they need one more point. Oh, wow. Okay. Got him. Wow, I'm cobwebbed up this morning. Like, I... Whoa. Like, I don't even know if I deserve to win that game or not. Let me look back here. League details. View replay. Oh God, stop. Let's get back to where we're talking about here. Um, yeah, I don't want to join this game. Hang on. But yeah, I might, I might just be like psyching myself out here because I'm not like 100% awake. Okay, so we crack in for five. Okay, so it's next turn. Okay, so I know that they have crack around here. They play that. We get here. Okay. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, so we know that they have this. If I attack here, and if I battle rage... Basically, if I battle rage this shadow, they don't have it, they're dead. If I battle rage this shadow and they have it, then they still have the guide but can't really race me because they have to hit a land to turn their hand off. So they actually have to blank a draw step. So it's not really that bad either way. Right? Because, like, in order for them to win this game, they have to hit a land in order to play both of these cards before I kill them and they can't attack me. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Like, either one had the merit. Like, if I battle rage... Like, if I battle rage here, they pack this, we trade here, they're at 15 on uh, a three turn clock. They've got seven points of burn, and they have to have at least one dead draw spell. So, one, two. Yeah, it doesn't matter because they can only kill me in four turns. Yeah, okay. So, like, if I was on my game, I'd have thought about that, but I did not. Um, thank you, MTG Forest. I appreciate that. And, like, my opponent gets draw steps as well, so it, it could have changed things a little bit, but we get draw steps, so. Yeah, but with my sideboard, these three cards here are very narrow. Partially because I'm I'm just assuming this is a Snapcaster made, Brandon. Like, I'm just, like, saying that it does the exact same thing as Snapcaster. So I'm just, like, pretending it is, and I really like these cards here. These cards are great. Oh, I I took out the wrong counter spell. Tilt. I meant to take out Disdainful Stroke and keep in. I meant to take out Ceremony Rejection and keep in Disdainful Stroke. But uh, these three cards are like very good. Where they're good, they're just not very good very often. Oh, we got the Mr. Moto Grinder himself. Uh, we're gonna keep this hand. It's not like it could use some help, but <clears throat> oh, Faithless Lightning. So we're playing against Hollow One. It looks like. Oh, so they're playing Dredge. Okay, so... Alright. So we're going to take out our top card here. Figure out what we're doing. I don't think we want another one of those. I think we just want to go hard here with the Shadow. And we're going to hope we hit a Cathartic Reunion here. No, we hit a life from the loam. Which is kind of a tilt, but like I don't think we can not cast our discard spell there to get our life total low to hopefully enable our death shadow. Alright, so they didn't really hit anything. So they just dredge the hip imp. Alright, let's Alright, so we're looking for battle rage basically at this point. Another shadow is good. I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm going to put this on top. 
because I think we're going to need a way to eventually push through that stink weed imp on a key turn. Like, I think that removal spell is going to be good eventually. So I should like pay attention to my opponent's hand. My opponent's hand is <clears throat> is this plus um, stink weed imp and Golgari thug. There's mana confluence. Okay. All right, so they hit a con flag and a couple narc amoebas. <coughs> so I could push this, get him for seven. That puts me to six, but I have some conflagrates to worry about. Let's thought scour myself. Another shadow, geez. Six. Even if they dredge loan, they get loan back, they go up, they play a land, it can only deal five to me. I kind of like pushing, shocking. No, I have to play a death shadow. I think I have to get a shadow into play. Because <clears throat> they have this, they can dredge this to get them five cards, put it on the stack to get them four cards, get three cards back to get them seven cards, and then play a land six, so we actually can't shop. So I just have to attack. Play shadow, play it. I think I'm going to hold the impact to the real Delver deck. I had fun playing those decks for a while. And I think I've got to play this shadow. And I guess I'm going to play this tapped. I could have held it to control my light total a little bit. All right, so they hit another Narc Amoeba. And then in comes this. Yeah, I probably should have actually held that to deal myself two more points of damage. Two lives from before, they were 18 rays, so you keep your one, they block it. They go to five, and they are dead to both shadows, cannot possibly deal any damage to your cards. Next hand, I wouldn't fetch even if the PBR was resolved because it was a six. All right, we're getting chilled again. They don't cast it, which is good on him. Okay. See, I'm going to get bit here, I think, by not having to be able to deal with myself two more damage. Because Thoughtseize makes these seven, 16. I need to make them 11, so I need to deal myself six points of damage this turn. What does Scalding Tarn do? So, put this on the bottom. I can deal myself five, which puts me to three, makes these tens. Push. This isn't, yeah, this leaves me dead ended. So I have to go Thought Scour into a land. Industry rates in the land or battle rage. <coughs> yeah, because neither of these do it, because this is only five points of damage, so it's close, but no cigar. I put these on the bottom. I can't live. I don't think I can live even with two removal spells. Can I, here's the next question. Can I live through two removal spells? Push, push, block, take one. They conflag me, but then if they conflag, they go up seven, six. This gets through. I have to shock. No, I can't live even with two removal spells. 
Put this on the bottom. I have two battle rages left. So let's just. I have to go. Yeah, I'm going to go like this because my line is top deck street wraith, cycle street wraith, hit a fetch land. That's still, yeah, it's still not enough. Block, block. Fetch shock, eight, ten. We're just like one point off. So I block here, play another shadow, block, block, push. I have to take one off my fetch land. All right, I'm going to give him the opportunity to mess up to give me another chance there. <clears throat> It still only does, it, it gets me one point short because my shadows are tens. Huh. All right, two chills. Two Narcomibas in the chills. He's thinking about it, whether he can flash these back. <clears throat> All right, does. So now it's Battle Rager Bust. Because we just go, we block, push this, take one. We have to fetch. Block, 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 block. Okay, so we're just dead if he attacks with everything. <clears throat> yeah, we were just one off there, which is kind of a tilt. But maybe he doesn't go for it. I mean, Budokov's a very good magic player, so. Block, block, block. Push, take one. Okay. You got it, sir. All right. Triple surgical stubborn denial. That is what we are looking at. <clears throat> yes, very close. This is kind of what I want to do. Because I want to be able to all my surgicals, my stubs. Snapcaster's kind of clunky. It's good with surgical, so I keep some of them in there. The removal spells. I like this spell because it just like lets you just combo out basically with the conclusion of the battle rage. I don't think last help is good. Sort by converted mana cost. Wish I could just like auto make moto make Snapcaster make a three drop. All right, I'm going to submit here. Um, I tend to just try not to beat Black Way Line, to tell you the truth. It's 
So I have a surgical, a bobble, and a stub. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Oh. Because I have, like, what I want besides a threat, and I get to dig one, two, three, four, five cards for a threat. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. And I, I could lose his hand, and if I lose his hand, I, I understand why I lose his hand. Lose this game. <clears throat> but I have a sideboard card and some dig. Oh, not going to play that. They put a card on top. So I'm going to hold Stubborn Denial. Another Surgical. That's probably good enough. I'm only going to five. We might be able to just strip all of their, like, blood gas slash amalgams out of their deck, which will buy us enough time to look for what to uh, draw what we need here. Thirty-four viewers. I appreciate everyone for showing up and hanging out this morning. I'm going to get a watery grave. This is going to be my my uh, black mana at some point. Watery Grave, Stubborn Denial, <clears throat> alright, now we're going to bottom pretty much everything that's not a threat. We might keep a Snapcaster Mage, because Snap Stubbing is going to be, maybe Snap Surgical is going to be a thing, we just take everything. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it. Make sure to not be like Brandon and always vote up on those YouTube videos. <clears throat> I could just fetch an island in Serum Visions, which I kind of like. We're going to be able to get our life total low anyways. So I want to, um, I want to keep it high for now. What about, um, Battle Rage is nice, but it's not nice without a dude. I'm going to cycle this because if we hit a discard spell, I think I want to use it. Okay. Yield through this turn. They see me roaming. They hating. I'm probably going to, well, surgically that loan might be loose. All right, we're going to get nasty. If I surgical this loam, I can actually check out what's going on in my opponent's hand. We drew another Snapcaster Mage. So I think we're going to play this for Phyrexian. See what my opponent's working with here. Make sure the coast is clear for this loam. Or for this Gurmag Angler. The old Gurdad. Take a picture of what's going on here. <clears throat> He's stink we have blood gas in hand. Cannot cast the blood gas, which is gas. Get rid of these lands, keep the stub. Play this. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna have to figure out this thing we didn't. He can't cast it. I'm gonna fetch a red land right now. Like, 
we can control our light total enough to where we can get shadow where we want it. Man, we are, we're just doing it. So I think the Snapcaster Mage is either going to be a counter spell or another one of these, uh, or another surgical. Yeah, you can't cast it. Maybe I probably should have snap serum visioned on my turn in order to find a way to deal with Stinkweedip. So that's what I'm going to do on my next turn. I made a mistake, and I'm not going to compound my mistake. I mean, those two are broke. Um, I like one crypt, three tarns, though it did take me a little bit of getting used to doing it. So I wouldn't rush into it. Um, heater. Especially without Anger of the Gods in the format, and it, it just lets you get nasty harder. I'm all about going hard with nasty. Because if you're not going hard with nasty, then what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to play this deck in the challenge later. I probably, I won't stream the challenge because my wife's around and I don't want to like monopolize the living room for the entire day. But if I do well, I'll go over the recordings, post them on YouTube. Would you say three times one crypt is the way forward? If you're not playing Anger of the Gods, it is. I think. If you're playing Anger of the Gods, then I would not do that. Um, it does take some getting used to. Like, I had many times where I fetched myself out of red mana when I was counting on having red mana, and that left me up. So it's, it's good to practice and get those growing pains out because everyone's going to mess it up. But it is nice. I mean, you're a little, like, you just are a little faster. There's not a lot of Field of Ruins right now. There's just basically the Black Green Rock deck and Blue White Control. Oh, no Land Heater. Mulligan. All right. I think we got to keep this hand. And we're going to put that on top because we have the Serum Visions. Hopefully he just goes, doesn't do anything super scary here. All right, that's at least the best lead off. So the question is, do I discard spell or do I stub? And if I discard spell a reunion, at least the cards don't get in the graveyard, which I'm kind of all about. So I'm going to fetch a watery grave, and I'm going to use a discard spell. This just might keep, keep his cards out of the graveyard. We could like screw ourselves here, which looks like we didn't. I'm surprised they didn't loot on turn one. Every list I've seen went three targets have two anglers. Well, stuff's not great because they can just play a land. What do you mean, Nick? All right, so they're going to be alone, which that gets their engine going. Okay, so they've got Confluence, Black Loop Kiss, Copperline Gorge. I kind of like have to go hard here with my life total because I need to be able to get a shadow into play.
put on the bottom, put on the bottom. I could hold this to stub a faithless looting, which I'm going to do because we can, because we can just cycle this next turn, I think. Yeah, I really want to be able to stub looting. Two. Uh, two, sorry, I'm not in English, way I'm confused. Oh, I have two angers. Yeah, I don't. I think anger is kind of getting a little better, but I still don't think it's that great. Okay. I don't think we want either of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um. I'm gonna cycle this. Okay, so there's our death shadow. All right, we're kind of doing it. We're gonna leave the stubborn denial in the graveyard. And then we're gonna, I guess, just bobble ourselves. We'll bobble them in their upkeep. They might take a draw step. They don't really have a lot going on. They have another looting, but it's hard to play. All right, so there's a chill. If they decide to mill it, it's going to make my... Okay, so now Amalgam comes back. No, their Amalgam's in their hand. But they can go looting first. Yeah, it seems like poor sequencing. No, they have an Amalgam in the graveyard. Okay. The sequencing still seems kind of poor to me. All right. We are slowly getting into... trouble now chief <clears throat> so if I attack block block take six they have none of that polluted delta I'm gonna play this I'm gonna fetch a tap red source because even if I go like bolt, block, block, I think I have to hope that he doesn't go for it. And then I need to draw Battle Rage in order to win. Because if he doesn't go for it here, because if, if, if I go like block, block, push, take three, and he doesn't have a way to deal me damage, then he does leave himself out to dying, I believe. Or I have to at least try to keep up appearances. And fetching this red source, he might play around. I don't know what that does. I don't think it does anything. Hmm. Well, now I'm just dead. All right. GG's, Mr. Budakov. Maybe I was supposed to mulligan my initial hand. Let me go back here. Let me check out my replay of my initial hand. You replay. All right, we did mulligan. Yeah, I mean, you can't mulligan this hand. I'm going to grab some more coffee. I'll be right back. I will start my matchmaking process.
Yes. Anger would have been very good. A surgical would have been very good. Anger gets a little more value now that humans is coming back. Because Anger's not very good against... Uh, we're going to keep this. It's a little sketchy, but... Because Anger is not very good against... Um, what do we got here? Goblin Guide? Okay, so this is the new burn deck. Anger is not very good against humans. We're in trouble now. See our visions. We don't have time for that. Anger's not very good against spirits. Excuse me. It's okay against humans. The Grixis deck is better. All right, so we have to take Goblin Guide and draw Death Shadow. <clears throat> So we can aid us, Rift Bolt, okay. All right. All right, we get to take Bump in the Night, play Scalding time, so we can fetch. It puts us in increments of three, but I think we have to try to get something going here. Um, turn off all wheels. I should fetch my basic before this goblin trigger, because if I don't fetch my basic, then I'm gonna be sad. I guess I've been increments of it, whatever, like dead, anyways. All right, nice. Look at those lands. Okay, so they drew a land, which means our Searing Blaze is turned on, which is kind of sad. Alright. I get to keep playing Magic. Nope, not that one. Alright, let's just hope our opponent bricks for the rest of the game. <clears throat> I like the Tom Roy deck was good for a little while. What kind of sucks here is I have to trade my Gurmite Angler for this Goblin Guide and then go to one. Which like I'm not really excited about. Deal. You got it. This red blackbird deck might be pretty good now that it's got another one of these. Okay. So again, sideboard the same way we did earlier. We shall submit. See if we can find a hand with a threat. <laughs> if this deck gets good, the Phoenix deck should take a little bit of a hit because Phoenix just struggles against Burn. Like the Phoenix deck just doesn't want to play against Eidolon. I would like to play first. We have a Death Shadow. Um, the people that are intelligent have told me that it's good. I'm going to keep this hand. I'm likely going to fetch Serum Visions off of this island, I think, however gross that is. Or I could just go this into Thought Scour, maybe set up a Gurmag Angler. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna like disregard this bolt. I think fetching off an like starting with an island is just so bumpy. It's an odd one. I guess it enables spectacle. It's probably pretty solid in my opponent's deck. All right. 
right, let's play our island. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Then we will pass the turn. <sighs> so bolt yourself, Brandon. This Lava Mancer is probably actually better than this deck with the Skewer. Oh, wow. We have the old one land heater from our opponent. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to pay attention to what they're doing here because I, I might push this, but I would like to be able to push an idol on. Yeah, I'm just going to deal with this because if they hit a fetch land, they can deal me two damage. Let's just preserve our life total. We have a Snapcaster Mage or Lightning Bolt. Yeah, it's like the red black. It's a red black burn deck with the new, the new one. All right, so there's Eidolon. So we can bolt play Shadow, which is probably the thing to do. Let's attack first. Or is sizing the sizing of my Shadow matter? Should I, like, go snap push to make my shadow one, two, three, four? We know their hand's all spells. No, I'm just going to... I'm just going to bolt this play a shadow. Because they're at a low enough life total where there's a chance that I can just... If they don't block next turn, I just bolt them out of the game. To be honest, since you're locked into being able to cast a regular angle. Krypton untapped. I wanted to give myself the opportunity to. I do understand where you're coming from, Brandon. Okay, so we're just attacking and then snap bolting them. They don't have lightning helix, so... Um, bolt you. Getting our getting our dollar way on here. And submit. We go back in here and change this before I jump into another league and forget. This is how it should be. I, I, I took out the wrong card. Forty viewers this morning. I hope you're all doing absolutely stellar on this sweet Saturday. I just can't get a mulligan this because like these are three drops, no discard. We have a removal spell, but then we have to fetch awkwardly. Too much damage, no shadow. Gross. Hopefully they have a creature draw. Which they're much apt to keep on the play. No, they don't have a creature draw. All right. So this can be Blood Crypt or Watery Grave with how our hand looks. If I play this Steam Beds untapped, I'm, thought, I'm committed to Thought Scouring or Lightning Bolting or Stunning. I think that's going to have to happen no matter what this turn. So let's hold off on this. Because it could be right to fetch either one this game. I uh, came back to Mountain Crypt. I don't know what's going on. Old Modern's going on. So if I go... now, nah, we're still just going to bolt this thing. I have a feeling this deck struggles more against Death Shadow. Purely because it doesn't have a path. I'm actually going to go fetch Watery Grave and play a 
play this. We can bolt ourselves if they go to bolt the shadow. If they want to use two removal spells to kill it. Do I want to bolt myself? They have three cards. I'm going to guess they don't have a lot of gas left. So I'm just going to bolt myself. This was a little risky. Dude, I'm so good at this game. I didn't think about whether I should do any fetching there. Which, if I would have fetched, then only one shadow is still lethal. <laughs> Get out of my face. You lose. That's why we're boarding K Command and a Braid. Plus, the games also just get slower against burn after sideboard. So a card like a solid, just like two for one, is good for them. I like you, Braided. Even if you download all my YouTube videos. All 342 of them. <coughs> uh, let's just... I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out this morning. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. I hope... You're all doing great. If you like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you want to support me more, head on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All of my streams are archived there. So if you ever miss something, you can see it there. Uh, Gamer Craze is a store in upstate New York where I learned to play Magic. They foster a college environment. So there's they have good competitive prices. So if you need singles, just check them out. That's linked below. My YouTube's linked below as well. And if you just want to interact with me on Twitter or see how mean Brandon Dalloway is, you should check me out on Twitter because he bullies me there all the time. So that's something that you can watch for your own entertainment. And thank you. Fetching Brave doesn't make much sense. I don't know. You're talking about when I went from 13 to 10? Their dollar dollar bills. Had I not lightning bolted on turn two, I think I would have fetched a blood crypt. In my professional opinion. Heater. That sounds pretty nice. Put it on top. Because that's gonna let us get nasty. Nice. Alright, so I'm actually just gonna serum visions. I'm not gonna discard spell them because. They're likely not doing anything, and I want to be able to set up like a Gurmag Angler of Thoughtseize. These cards don't do anything. Double Bolt kills your shadow either way, but that's why you bolt yourself here at 9 instead of 7. But 9 instead of 7 basically does the same thing, right? You're still 3 burn spells either way. They don't, it's not like they have Boros Charm. I haven't played Jace. Other intelligent people have played Jace. They've spoken highly of it. Thoughtsies. I'm trying to figure out if I want to fetch before I do this. Um, and I think I do. I'm gonna get a Blood Crypt because, like, we might have to battle rage our way out of this game. One, two, three, four. All right. I really appreciate your honesty, Brandon. Please just carn me. Yes. That's even worse.
Battle Rage. No Battle Rage. <clears throat> Did you say anything about fetching Grave? Um, I talked about how I fetched uh, Grave because I don't think against the red black burn deck there's much of a difference between nine and seven because they don't play Boros Charm, and I'd rather just be able to turn up the heat. In my opinion. God, please do give me. Thank you. I yield. Okay. Counter spells. These. I struggle a lot in this matchup. I just struggle. Period. I always want to cut a Snapcaster Mage and put another bolt in. Because like, they're going to be so deep in relics, I just want to be able to like bolt my face in order to linear it up. Three mana, deal four. That doesn't hit a... Okay. But they had to hit a land drop to do that. I don't know. Just right at myself. That lightning bolt has one target. And it's right here. Juliana's is like okay at squeezing them, but I don't really think it's worth it. They have so many cantrips, they're gonna just make land drops anyways. You are booty against strong. Gross. If I had a cantrip, I would be. Oh. I'm gonna mulligan. Like his hand does stuff, but like I just don't. Have, I don't have any way to kill them. All right, we're not gonna mulligan this one. I've been places, Harrison. I've seen things. Keep. We do want that second land. Um, do I want to thought seize them or do I want to just? No, I'm gonna cantrip if I can. Like, I can either rejection something or go EOT cycle thought scour. Chromatic Star. All right, we're gonna let that one go. Don't do this to me, though. Oh no. Still have all my pets. All right, we're having some technical difficulties. I'm going to get a watery grave. I cut myself off red here, which could be a little loose. Was probably a little loose. 
It's in the street raid. All right, there's our red mana. Tilt. I could just go get Serum Vision. Or I'm trying to get a Steam Vents. Oh, I milled over my Steam Vents. I am so good at this. So we're going to get Blood Crypt. Don't want either of these. Don't want either of this garbage. Thoughts he's you. Hope to hit like a Sylvan Scrying. Nice. Did I get the. No, their hand's garbage. <coughs> What's your final take on the bobble looting thing? Yeah. I understand what you're saying there, Mr. Dalloway. Yo, comprende. Looks like we're back after our technical difficulties here. All right, so what do they got? They played Urza's Tower, Chromatic Sphere. They have the Expedition Map. So that's always nice. We know our opponent's going to, like, tron it up. It would be sweet if we drew a Death Shadow. <coughs> what Draw bubble or hang out. Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're saying, Ren. Relic. They've got one, two, three. So they have three out of their four cards. I kind of want to rejection this because if we don't rejection this, it cuts off half of our threats and gives them a redraw. So we're basically like, yeah, this might be aggressive, but I'm gonna do this. There's Urza, Tron. Your Chalice for one's tough. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'm stupid. This they I know I knew they had Oblivion Stone. That's not good. I knew they had Oblivion Stone. I should have just let them do that and then do it. I'm done. This was a, a good old punt. <clears throat> yeah, take it easy. Don't don't like don't drive off the road or anything. Did she sign half your magic cards? They're kind of like hers, right? <clears throat> I'm about to get browned by this O stone that I was done about. I love Tron. Yep. I shall get you coffee. All right. BRB chat. I have to go get my. I have to disdainful stroke this thing and give my wife some coffee. Uh, SVG, <laughs> Look at this. We have Mr. Mr. Financial Guy, Austin Collins. You got it. Yeah, see, I buffed up. Because now I'm just brown to this thing. All right. Let me go get
boss in college is my financial advisor. You, uh, man, we are. We're doing it. <sighs> Responsibility in life. Oh man, you got it. Go eat your sanctum. Uh, o stone, Urza's tower. <laughs> Did you make plans yet for Baltimore yet, Brandon? With what you're doing. Hey, how's it going, Dito? I love magic. <clears throat> Dude, that Aiden guy is huge. Young Aiden is like massive Aiden. Like, I'm 26, and I'm pretty sure that guy can kick the shit out of me. I was hoping he was going to put a fake counter on his expedition map for the memes. Give me one second. What's that? Oh, no. Just kidding. I'm only 25. My wife reminded me. Put a counter on your O stone. Can you even do that? Huh. Joke's on you. I was ready for this. <clears throat> yeah, man. All the other kids play magic besides me. My killers are six foot plus. Yeah, he's huge. That kid is massive. Thoughts ease? All right. I yield. I yield. That's a tough one. <clears throat> I feel rather fat. I like I'm a, I like Alex, but I, I get isn't he like fourteen on a good day? I like Josh Warsaw because he's shorter than I am. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to go fetch Watery Grave, Inquisition our opponent, and then we're going to draw a Street Wraith like a professional. All right. Well, we can get rid of this faith sleeping. We're gonna slow like they can they can bring that back, but their hand's such garbage that we might be able to just get out uh, far enough ahead here. So we're gonna, we should we're gonna remember to take the draw if we get the option. All right. Can we get a Gerdad? I would love me a Gerdad. All right, Stubbs not bad. <coughs> so you and I are the same height. Don't worry about it. Because of how many, because um, of how modern it is, there should be a twenty card sideboard. Now that's definitely just not not what should happen. You just confuse too many people if you do that. Like it, it makes a new player horrendous for them to like understand what's going on. Once I stop being fat and get swole, I'll look like. 
Yeah, you'll look like whatever his name is, Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. Polluted Delta. Okay, you, know, you got that. You got it. I might snap Inquisition and get this Lightning Bolt out of their hand, which is probably what I'm going to do on my turn. Because it slows down their Phoenix count. I do let them... I could, like, bolt... I could stub this Faithless Looting also that they flash back. But my turn's, like, so medium besides that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to snap... If I snap Inquisition this bolt, they bolt me, snaps on the board, and then I can go double shadow next turn with stubborn denial up. Or I could snap thought scouter. I think I want to be an adult and stub this faithless looting. And if they don't flash it back, then I'm going to just snap Thought Scour at the end of their turn. <clears throat> Why don't you have a 100 card sideboard? Oh, I forgot to fetch. What a tilt. They might not be awful. They drew that. Nice. We're in trouble. All right, I'm going to snap stub this. Now they can just bolt and still get it back. They bolt me, attack me for six. I play two shadows, they six me. Because at least this kind of counters this. And they lightning bolt me. They get two of these back, and then I'm, like, dead next turn, but that's life. I messed up. I'm not playing very well this morning because I should have just, I should have just, like, snap. I should have hit the bolt. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so stupid. That was so bad. Okay. That was not good. That was not good. So we're going to cut... Two wraiths and two bolts, and we're gonna draw. See if we can do this right. See if we can actually play some intelligent magic here. <clears throat> or I'm gonna start pounding coffee. Yeah, they can't. They can't. Modern's like not super great at the moment. But then, like. Does some stuff. <clears throat> I'm trying this out here. I don't know if this is right, but Tarek. Oh, our opponent didn't know that I put them on the play, apparently, and F6 through their turn. Well, at least we get that. I'm glad you see monitors all which questions that have no answers to them yet. Yep. After playing Legacy, like, for the last couple weeks, the biggest difference is honestly, like, Brainstorm. Because, like, why? Why I start? Right, I'm just going to let that go here. All right, so I'm just going to Serum Visions on turn one. I don't really want a Thought Seize yet. My hand does a lot of damage to itself. Put on the bottom. Put on top. Because <clears throat> like, if if I think that like if the fair decks could afford to like not to just mitigate the wrong half of their deck problem, then they would just be so much better. Am I gonna want to fetch a basic island? Probably with how my hand works here. But I think I just want to go island into. Gurdad. We only have two red spells, so. 
All right, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to do some work with these surgical extractions. <clears throat> Don't lightning axe me, bro. Okay, thoughts got himself. They hit a Crackman Drake. And they hit. Well, crack, hit I'm hitting Crackman Drake's nice. That card's annoying. I do like how we have this trend of being on the draw and sideboarding in modern. It's kind of cool. It's just like such an unexplored space and magic that it's just interesting, I think. Why not end step double surgical? Because I can do that whenever I want, and I give them the opportunity to like load up more and play towards an Arclight Phoenix. Oh man, you lava axing my Gurmag Angler. That's so rude. All right. Take this, then we're gonna pass. <clears throat> so I can do this whenever. I might as well like try to get them to play towards some other stuff like I'm gonna draw a step surgical them. I might not do that now. So let's get rid of this Arc Light Phoenix. We actually get a card out of their hand, which is really nice. Because I like I, I don't know, I haven't tested it enough, but Tarik, um, who got who beat Grixis Death Shadow on the top eight, said that he liked drawing in this matchup. And if he likes to draw, I should like to draw. Okay. So what are we interested in surgically again? Probably this Crackling Drake. He has Snapcaster Mages and Thing in the Ice. And then if and then probably like. Because I have to double surgical if I want to play Death Shadow this turn. Because he'll just bolt it. <sighs> I would have started with surgical on the Drake to see their hand and decide if you wanted the Fossies. I would dismember my house twice. <laughs> what do you mean, who is this guy, Dito? I figure out what else I want to surgical. Probably this Lava Axe. Probably Lava Axe and Crackling Drake. Get more. Dump some time on your game. Just match up that. I get a couple front. Yeah. Okay. So let's take Crackling Drake. And then I'm just going to take Lightning Axe. Now the only way he has to win the game is Thing in the Ice and three Lightning Bolts and Snapcaster Mage. <coughs> Tarek is, he, he just, he, he got second place at the Open this weekend. I assume he's just going to bottom everything. Or like, unless the card, like the only thing you're keeping on top is like Faithless Lootings. Serum Visions and Thing in the Ices and Snapcaster Mages at this point. Yeah. Okay, so turn off auto oh, shoot. I had the old auto yield moto pass on. Alright, well. We know our opponent's hands a bunch of lands. So we probably can't. I should have. This is. This is just poor sequencing overall from the home team here, but 
it's what we're doing. Let me just two turn them. I don't think my opponent has an out unless they draw because they, they don't have lightning bolt. They could, yeah, but we're going to get rid of that. If they have a uh, spell pierce here, that's going to be kind of annoying. But we know their last two cards are lands. <clears throat> I will still keep on the play. Yeah, I think that it's correct to do, though. I mean, he was talking about how he won he won 10% more of the games when he was on the draw. So I, I think it's I think it's worth trying there. And like if you download Mort, like Mort will show you those stats. Like it is it is definitely correct in the Grixis matchups to in any Thoughtseize mirror, it's correct to draw. The three or four DDS regulars. You all have that up. Yeah. I do think it's a good matchup. Because you have like discard spell, removal, surgical, and counter magic. I don't know, I don't have a land. But um I'm just trying to see if it's correct to draw or not. All right, there's our threat. We're gonna have to discard spell on one because we don't. We're a little naked to uh, thing in the ice. So we do get to check out our top card here. I think you should try it. Um, that thought sees is probably worse than a random card. I think I think the third I think the third discard effect is worse than a random draw. Yeah, we're just gonna take the thing. Be adults. Yeah, drawing. It it is correct though, Dio. Like if you look at the statistics, like I have won more in the in the Death Shadow Mirror after drawing than I have when it that I was on the play. Dude, they just oh they knew it was there. So here goes the explosion turn. Yeah. Yes, but like just having uh, like I don't, I don't, like, yes, the play patterns, I understand what you're saying, and I think the play patterns, we, are, we might get, like, blown out the gym here. And, but, like, the play, I was very, I was very, um, I was very hesitant as well, but I just decided to try it, and the play pattern, wow, we got lucky there. And the play patterns just don't support it. So... They must have kept a thing in the ice or like a crackling drake. So I kind of just want to go like discard spell. But like that seems just kind of loose. When we can look at so many cards to find a push or a dismember. Yeah, let's just get nasty. The play patterns don't make sense, but like I have been losing to people that have taken the draw against me, and I've been beating people that have been that I've taken the draw against. <clears throat> Thought Scour into a Phoenix, okay. Thought Scour into not a Phoenix. Okay, so they're going to get a Phoenix back here. And now we are looking for, like, more threats at this point. We're definitely a little naked to Crackling Drake also. All right, so we're doing this no matter what. All right, this Snapcast Mage doesn't do anything. I'm going to go fetch an island so that I can just triple cantrip if I need to. Or if I go into something I want to cast here. So... If I take a discard spell here, 
I'm gonna put this in the bottom. I'm gonna put this on top to turn on revolt, I think. Thought sees them. I go to nine. That's rough. Then we pass. They're gonna flash back Faithless Looting, ditch three, ditch two Phoenixes. And then I'm kind of in trouble. Like I'm removing data for myself. What do they do? They're not, are they not going to, are they just going on the hard cast mode here? I need some help. Unfortunately here. I, I, I think I played myself out of this. Because they, I didn't think about them just hard casting their arc light phoenixes. But like that is definitely something they're they're they can do and are going to do to me. So like I, I messed up here. So now I have to draw like dismember, snapcaster mage, or battle rage. I basically have to win this turn. I can draw, I boarded out my lightning bolts, but. No. Yeah, I cost myself this game here. I just zoned out. Yeah, I just, I, me I messed this up here. I, I didn't see, I should have taken an Arc Light Phoenix, make them Faithless Looting, which was my fault. 